Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Monday, April the 2nd, and welcome to our video commentary. You know, there's a lot of conversation uh, from President Trump's tweets over DACA on Sunday, and, uh, you know, obviously the reaction is partisan, as you would expect. But I think President Trump was, frankly, putting the situation realistically. We do not have the votes right now to pass DACA. Now, a couple of months ago, President Trump made what I thought was a very good offer on DACA. He said, look, I'm willing to legalize up to 2 million people, and on top of that, I'm willing to give those people in 10 to 12 years the opportunity to apply for citizenship. That is a heck of a lot more than they ever got under President Obama or under a Democrat majority when the Democrats had that majority a few years ago. I mean, the fact that you're willing to say that 2 million people can become citizens of the United States in 10 to 12 years, that's a pretty generous offer. And I'm, I'm frankly, I'm kind of surprised that more dreamers are not seeing it that way. But the Democrats responded uh, by saying they're not going to negotiate. They were willing to shut down the government in February over DACA, and then they realized that was a big mistake. So they didn't do anything about it. They didn't fight for DACA whatsoever in this latest budget negotiation that, of course, goes to September. And in September, we will have another, another budget uh, we will have another budget fight. I think that if you really want to understand the Democrats' position on DACA, you have to say five things, or five states. North Dakota, Montana, Missouri, Indiana, and West Virginia. These are the five states right now where five Democrats are fighting for re-election. And some of the early polling would suggest that they have serious problems in those five states. So if the Democrats have any chance whatsoever of winning the House, they have to hold on to those five seats because if they lose one or two of them, they have no chance to win the Senate. And that's what the Democrats' position is all about. The Democrats do not want to force Democrats in those states to have to take a position on DACA or have to vote one way or the other on DACA. I can guarantee you that if there was an up-and-down vote on DACA right now, meaning an up-and-down vote of DACA without any of the enforcement provisions that President Trump wants, that those five Democrats would vote against DACA, just like they did in February when they chose not to shut down the government over DACA. And you can also add to those five Democrats, Senator Jones, the new Democrat from Alabama, who's up for re-election in 2020. He's not going to put he's not going to put his neck out for for DACA without border restrictions or some of the other enforcement mechanisms. So this is where we are. I mean, what President Trump said was basically the political reality. We don't have the votes right now to pass DACA, and I don't think we will anytime, anytime soon. And that's all that President Trump was saying. So the people who react by, you know, somehow trying to, to say that President Trump doesn't want to do DACA, well, they should contact the Democrats and ask them two questions. Number one, why didn't you do something about DACA when you had majorities? And number two, why don't you negotiate over DACA? If the Democrats were really interested in negotiating, we would have a DACA deal. Believe me, there's enough Republicans and enough Democrats to put together a majority in the House and 60 votes in the Senate. But the Democrats don't want to negotiate over DACA. They don't. I mean, that's just the bottom line. They want to keep the way things the way they are because it benefits them politically, they think, by keeping things the way they are. So, you know, you can overreact to President Trump's tweets. A lot of people tend to do. But I think at the end of the day, President Trump simply stated political reality, and that is we don't have the votes. There's no way that DACA is going to pass unless the Democrats are willing to come to the table and negotiate. And so far, there's no sign of that. Thank you for watching. You can watch all of these uh, videos over on YouTube, on Twitter, or on my blog. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.